can you bring, uh, bring up the video for the from the pastor Jamal Bryant? What he said about uh, Coon Walker. Pastor Jamal Bryant broke down by members of his church and citizens in Georgia should not vote for Herschel Dam Walker. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, when the Republican Party of Georgia moved Herschel Walker from Texas to Georgia so that he could run for Senate, it's because change was taking too fast in the post antebellum South. The state had been flipped blue and there are some principalities that were not prepared for a black man and a Jewish man to go to Senate at the exact same time. So they figured that they would delude us by picking somebody who they thought would in fact represent us better with a football than with a degree in philosophy. They thought we were so slow, that we were so stupid, that we would elect the lowest caricature of a stereotypical broken black man as opposed to somebody who is educated and erudite and focused. Y'all ain't ready for me today. Since Herschel Walker was 16 years old, white men been telling him what to do, telling him what school to go to, where to live, where to eat, where to buy a house where to run, where to sit down, where to sleep, where to pay for abortions, where to buy a gun. And they, you think they not going to tell him how to vote? In 2022, we don't need a walker. We need a runner. We need somebody who going to run and tell the truth about January 6th. We need somebody who going to run and push for the cancellation of student loan debts. We need somebody who going to run and make the former president respond to a subpoena. We don't need a walker. We need somebody who will be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding, knowing that your labor is not in vain. Georgia, I need you to know the slave Negroes y'all are used to don't live here no more. We can think by ourselves, function for ourselves, and vote. Sorry, um, kill. <laughs> Somebody asked me about that as far as, um, you know, what I thought. Somebody sent the uh, minister sent it to me. And um, first of all, I agree with that. Um, I'm, now, I will say I'm not really big on um, uh, political stuff within the message. But uh, as one of my friends was saying, this is so crucial. You need it wherever at this point, you know, because it's just really dire at this stage. Um, but I do think uh, so much leadership has come from the pulpit over years, especially politically, that people just need it. Um, I, I, I've met him before. I've been I've, I've been around him many years ago and um, I'm not the biggest fan, but that's not what this is about. I will say this. I agree with what he said, though. Um, I think the Herschel Walker thing is a disgrace. I absolutely think it is, it is, it is a disgrace. And I do think it's a smoke screen and I hope people, you know, and I'm sure they are, are aware enough in Georgia <laughs> to see what, what the wall is trying to be pulled over their eyes. And I don't think they're going to go for it. <clears throat> sorry, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Somebody, somebody else can go, I'm sorry. Listen, uh, I'm, I'm done with Herschel Walker. I mean, are we, I mean, we, it, it's, 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 he is weaponized blackness, you know? And um, he's like, he's he's kind of like a, you know, they, they kind of set up a bomb in our community, man, just to cause confusion. And um, and I agree with everything he said, you know what I'm saying? Um, that, that, that Mayor Herschel, they found, like he said, they found probably the worst, you know, I, I guess, I guess the worst example that you could find and, 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 and just kind of set him apart us, man, so. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I, I think, I think you're right. I think Georgia is sophisticated enough, um, of a, of a state to kind of know what that is. And, um, you know, I just hope everybody kind of does the right thing with to that. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Can I Ronnie? expect this too. Go ahead, Ronnie. You want to say something? No, nah, yeah. Um, I noticed that, you know, we all know that the, uh, midterm elections is a lot different this time because of, 
COVID, so a lot of ballots are being mailed in, drops off, and stuff like that. Um, we would probably have a better range on who's in the lead and who who's uh, has a better percentage to winning or whatever. We can't do that because it's being you know it's, it's it's being ran different this time. But I will tell you one thing: if Herschel Walker does win, it's going to be a very sad day, very sad day. American politics is over, bro. It's over. It's definitely over. If the thing is, if Georgia cannot rally enough, strong enough together to make sure that a guy like Herschel Walker has no chance of winning, it's going to be a sad day, a very sad day. But we'll see. That's all we can do is wait and see. Yeah. Tuesday's going to be big, man. It's going to be big. That yeah. But, I, I mean, uh, Brian, the Jamal Bryant um, – I didn't like him because he's a Kappa. But besides that, I'm not fond of Kappas. I think they're kind of left-handed. But um, besides that, no, his message was good. I'm just fucking trying. His message was really good. Um, it, it's nothing else you can go behind that. He, he's so right. I think they think it's, we're so dumb and so gullible that black folks, you, you throw celebrities up there, we always going to go for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, think how many rappers were in love with uh, Donald Trump before he started screwing who he really was to them rappers. They, we're in love with celebrity. So the guess we can get this coon to come up here. He black. That's all we think about. And and, and to say some off-brand, real off-brand shit, they're going to trade the good air for our bad, uh, the bad air, and they're going to get... Yes, and that's the thing that gets me deep, deep. <laughs> it's not even so much his his politics. It's the it, ignorance. It's the like, ignorance. Even if you, like, there are some people that I disagree with politically, but they're not unintelligent. They just have a different view. Yeah. He is just ignorant across the board, and he does look like the typical dumb jock caricature like they're talking yep. about. Yep. He just does. I mean, he, he. in other words, you are not your own man. You can't tell me that somebody did not put you up there to be a puppet, and that's what it is. Do, do you think when Hershey Walker talks, he's talking to black, to black um, people? You think he's talking to white people in Georgia? <laughs> I think he's talking to white. Obviously, talking. Obviously, talking to white people. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Okay. But he's there, but he's there to talk to our people. Well, I think his skin. They use his skin, but I think right. the messaging is still to towards white Georgian people that live in Georgia that are white. That's well, they already. I mean. they, they right. They already gonna back him because they know who sent him. Because they I know. He, correct. They know who sent him. And the thing is, Republicans tend to vote Republican no matter who they the person is, right. because they just want Republicans to be in those positions. So basically, we could put Kermit the Frog, as long as he's a Republican, they'll vote for him. You know. Well, yeah, that's one. But like you said, there's one aspect to it. But then we also have some very unsophisticated voters out there. You know what I mean? That they just never I, underestimate that man. That there are some people who are just very unsophisticated. And they will just see somebody that kind of looks like them on the surface, and maybe that tips the scales, you know. But I think I, I don't think that's the case in Georgia. I think we're past that at this point. But I think it's an old uh, play, and they're using it, and they're going to see what what happens, you know. Yeah, I I, I still want to think and hope that as black people, we've been through so much that it's hard to pull the wool over our eyes. I, I'm just hoping that this is going to be the case on um, November 8th. That, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying, D? Like, we shouldn't be falling for shit like this at this stage. I don't think we are. I think we just got to show I'm up. I'm hoping we're not. I'm nah. just, I'm really giving it, I'm really feeling that we're not going to fall for the banana and the tailpipe yeah, trick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At this stage of the game. Yeah. But uh, I don't think we're we going to see. We got sh I hope we, we just show up, man. That's the problem. I agree with you, D. I don't think people people know not to vote for him. The yeah, question is, are they yeah, going to vote yeah. for somebody else? That's yeah. the question. Yeah. I agree and, with you on that. that. in the governor's race. They try to blame it on black men. Stacey Abrams, they try to blame something. The black men don't show up. Stacey Abrams because of that. And it's like, they show, they show the data. More black men voted for Stacey Abrams the first time, and they show up to vote in the state of Georgia. So it's like a lot of stuff they're trying to throw out there to make it seem like black folks is going to be your reason she don't win or they don't come out. She's not a sister for you. So I, and same thing with this guy, with um with um Herschel Walker shit. Like we're not going to be dumber. I think if we just got to show up and it, and it's, it, he should uh, the brother should win. Um, Reverend Mitchell got one that's when uh, by land, not landslide, if not, but close. But like, I don't think it should be close. That's the thing. It shouldn't I'm be. It shouldn't but be those people, But those crackers vote party over everything, bro. I, I know that. I know that. But the thing is, like you said, coming out, we should be smart enough to realize at this point 
what's at stake and that we have to come out. Yeah. Now, the thing is, if 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 we don't come out, then we fail. We fell for the banana tailpipe trick. Yeah. You know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the thing is, you can't, you know, either either you did your mail-in vote or you dropped your ballot off or you're going to show up at the polls on that day or whatever. But the bottom line is black people have to come out because if this if this don't go their way, there's going to be consequences for that shit. Yeah. And repercussions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, well, listen, the time for talking is over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jamie, keep, play some more comments. Go ahead, Jamie. <laughs> Chef says, I watch Indisputable while I'm working here. Some good topics. Uh, and with it, watch says, and with that passes over the political comment that church should lose its 501c3 status, in my opinion. That's, see, hard, that's, that's hard in Georgia. Yeah. But, <laughs> that's well, yeah, definitely. but you that's know what I'm saying? That's, that's, my, that's my point. When you do stuff like that, what if you have some people in that congregation that are voting for him? In other words, the, that moment. It's a theological moment, I think. Now, if you do something before or after or do a town hall meeting, I think that's more appropriate for that. But within a um, theological message, I don't know. That may be a little strong, so I understand so, that. Let me ask you a question. I'm not sure. Were they at church or was it was that, was that it a meeting at the church? Okay, this is the thing. Let me say this. Um, what it looked like was it looked like, I believe, I think they said he did this at Morehouse, if I'm not mistaken. I think he had come to do something at Morehouse, but I think he did a message there. So I think it was not a campaign stunt, but I don't think it was in New Birth. He's the pastor now of New Birth. He actually was in Baltimore before that, but he's in New Birth. But he did do that at church. I believe that was at Morehouse. Is New Birth was that guy that used to wear the tight? Oh, Eddie man. Long, yep. Yeah, my sister used to go to that church. I remember they have bleach. It's so big, man. It's crazy. Eddie yeah, Long. Okay, is he down, was he down with Eddie Long? No, it's, it's totally, totally all right, different. All right, all right. He look a little Eddie Longish. Oh, like, oh I'm, I'm just saying they, they look. Yeah. Little, I yeah. saying, I'm not gonna. Oh, oh, hey, come got on. It. Got it. Got what what does Eddie Longest mean? Um, what does Eddie Longest mean? Well, I think you have to say what it means. What does it mean? No, <laughs> see, I shouldn't get a scroll. See, you got. I ain't saying nothing about Eddie Long. He looks like you might got some muscles. We Eddie got, Long we got, got a lot of muscles. We gonna argue semantics. <laughs> Eddie Long got a lot of muscles. Eddie Long got a lot of muscles. Don't say that shit around my sister about Eddie Long. He get mad as hell, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Go ahead. Scratch your eyes out. Word. She loves us some goddamn Eddie Long. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Michelle. Michelle says, uh, the sad part, philosophy teaches you how to think. The Socratic method has helped me win a lot of disputes in apologetics. Mm. Uh, Edward and Jamal was went, uh, Jamal has went against the biblical standards to be a pastor, so he shouldn't even be up there. Mm. <laughs> Shorter says, did he lie? <laughs> you know? Right. Uh Tim G says, tore his ass up. He's been installed, and I'm glad he's out there. You know? Uh, Juan says he was stating his opinion, so he wasn't lying. He was just too political for my taste. That's fair. Daniel says, drop the mic. Daniel Suffer says, drop the mic. Okay, Michelle, she says, I won. Uh, he may argue Romans 13, but so will the Christian. Uh, I use that loosely nationalist. Christian nationalist. Okay. All right. Dumb as a rock. Damn, don't make a rock that bad. Rock you know, smarter than a rock smarter than that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, make me laugh. Sean to just get to it. <laughs> Tim G says, I just saw him ask some people who went to his rally, and clearly a lot of them were willing to overlook some things in order to see him win. Party over principles. Yep, see. And Shorter says, it's so the Republicans can say they voted for a black man. Yeah, mm. see that? Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Weaponized mm. blackness. That's what I mean. Uh, uh, but are they really voting for a black man? He's a dark skinned white man. With a, with a high top. He's a black guy supremacist. <laughs> dark skinned white man. What's the guy um, think... Dave Chappelle played? Yeah, the black white supremacist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what was the name? I forgot his name. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, God, I can't remember his name now either. Yeah. I can't think of his fucking name. Oh, Tyrone Biggums. Tyrone Biggums. That's Tyrone, Tyrone Biggums. Biggums. Yeah. 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 